and let's get going. So, um, Real quickly, while I, while I get started, I'd love just, well, I guess I've kind of let everybody know where everybody is. I was going to say, let's let everybody know where everybody is. But Jim, Lynn, and Christine are all on West Coast time. Um, and then we've got Mary, Randy, and I over on the East Coast. And I know Christine has three pharmacists that she just enrolled who are all on the East Coast, may or may not jump on this morning. So um, the purpose of my call this morning is really to be directed towards Randy and Lynn um, for new people who've just gotten started, who've just gotten their box. Um, and I want to focus um, first and foremost on just your product experience, what you've got in your box. Um, and then also just orient you to the resources for product and resources for business. I know Lynn, you really want to get the products in your body for a while before you decide that you, you know, want to run with this. But having said that, knowing where the resources are now while you're putting the products in your body, while you see fit, you can plug in and know where the resources are and learn along the way. So that in 30 days when you're like, oh my God, Melissa's right. I feel like I swallowed a rainbow. You can run because you've got like, you know, the guardrails around you. Right. Um, so, and then uh, when we wrap up, so this call will be like 30 minutes. When we wrap up, I just um, uh, call to action, you know, some ideas on resources, places you can go to get started um, and Q and A. So whatever questions you guys have um, about getting started. Um, so let's just start with your product orientation. You guys both have your boxes, right? All right, awesome. And I know um, Randy it just and- just happens to be in the car right now. Oh, okay, that's all right. <laughs> uh, so did you, did you guys get your product welcome email from me with the YouTube video attached that kind of walks you through what to expect? Okay, awesome. Have you had a chance to watch it? <laughs> yes, I have watched it. Okay, awesome. What about you, Lynn? It's okay if you have it. Okay, that's okay. That's why I always ask. Um, the reason I, I do and attach a video is some people are self starters. They want to get going and they want to, they want to get, they, when their box gets there and they're excited, I want them to be ready to go. Right. Um, and also when you guys are busy and you start rolling people, you're going to find that, that you can, you can totally hijack that video and attach it to welcome, um, emails to people that you enroll. Cause you may be busy in your day to day and you can ask people that you've enrolled to make that a pre-watch because it's gonna save you a lot of time. I find that for people who've already watched it, so like if I were to jump on the call just specifically with Randy, um, you know, if he's already watched the video, he has kind of an idea of really his options on getting started, and he's just gonna come to me with a couple questions versus me like, you know, rolling out the red carpet and walking him through the entire like, you know, thing. So it's really a time saver for you. So just know that it's there, and Lynn, um, if you have follow-up questions or you want a resource to go back to, you can just hit play on that and get your, you know, get your bearings. Um, so Lynn and Randy, you guys both came in with the goal of uh, a really a 30 day nutritional rebalance, right? I think both of you were saying that you could use, you know, shedding a little bit of toxic fat. Um, not that we're like fat or overweight, but there's all these toxins that harbor some of that, that visceral uh, tissue that we just want to get rid of. Um, and really increase performance and mental clarity and energy, right? Um, and I know Jim came in on the performance line, but his wife, um, how many pounds has your wife lost now, Jim? 12. Okay, so Jim came in on the performance products. He didn't actually do initially a 30 day, but his wife, who's a fitness instructor, wanted to shed some quarantine 15. And so although he was at the peak of his performance, when I assessed him and asked him, where are you in your level of performance out of a one out of 10? And he said an 11. I was like, well, this guy pr probably, let's just start him off on the performance line. But his wife wanted to lose some weight. So she, we got her on a, on a 30 day. And it's been a great story for both of them because he's been able to nourish his body up his ante and his performance. And his wife has a whole different product journey, right? Yeah. Um, so awesome. I'm so excited for her. Um, so we'll be talking later this afternoon, Jim, on how you can leverage those stories to really start building some enrollments and your business. Um, okay. So knowing that Randy, you and Lynn are really going to embark initially on a 30 day nutritional reset, just to kind of recap what's in the video is, um, to get maximum results, to drive the most maximum results. You really want to replace for you, Lynn, two shakes a day with one help, uh, with, with uh, two shakes, replace two meals with, with two shakes, right? And then one healthy, well-rounded, sensible meal, about 600 calories. We don't exclude any food groups. It's not paleo, it's not keto. Although if you are of that lifestyle, you can adapt it along with the Isogenics program. 
So if you guys have people who are keto and they want to do the cleanse program, I can coach you on how you can keep the sugars low and still do the fasting process. Um, Randy, for men and for Jim, you know, these guys require a little bit more calories, right? So uh, Randy, for you, I would, I would encourage you to start your morning with one sh with a shake to replace a meal, but that's going to be the only real, real, real meal replacement for the shakes um, that you're going to have, except for, you know, on occasional days where you're super busy and that second shake just it suffices as your second meal at the pharmacy or on the go, right? But what I would encourage you, Randy, is, um, you know, consider that, for, and especially if you're going to continue to like keep, keep the ante high at Camp Gladiator, where, you know, you're working out really hard. Um, you just have to listen to your body because obviously the harder you're working out and actually the better you feel, the harder you work out, the more calories you require. So you just have to listen to your body. There's a fine line between initially just doing some calorie restricting and knowing that I'm just a little hungry because I've maybe been eating too much the past couple of months versus feeling a little hungry because you're literally, you haven't had enough calories for the day matching your, your exertion for exercise, if that makes sense. So it's kind of a, a dance in the beginning, but I would do one shake in the morning. And then that second shake for you, Randy, could be a mid-afternoon snack, um, or it can be post-workout, depending on when your workouts are. Um, you know, now if you're, if you want to go really aggressive and replace two meals a day with the shakes at first, you can, um, but I would supplement with some additional calories based off of how you feel. So like if you're showing up at your workouts the next morning and you're tired and exhausted, it's cause you've, you've, you've reduced too many calories, right? Like my husband, he went strictly to two shakes, replacing two meals a day, but he doesn't, he plays tennis two to three days a week. And, um, he lost like 25 pounds, but he, and he like stuck to the program with me. Um, so I'm being wishy-washy with you, Randy, as a male, I just find that with the uh, males consume, typically consume more, they, they require more calories and I want you to listen to your body, right? But you're going to get, no matter what, get those two shakes in, even if the second one is a snack, because the shakes are what get your body alkaline. Okay. So you guys got the beefed up packs that came with the protein bars. You can have those protein bars as snacks on your first 30 days. Don't let that be a meal replacement because it's the live active enzymes in the, the shakes that actually help contribute to alkalinity. So even if you're on the go and you're super busy and you're like, uh, I almost said two shakes, but I'm just going to have a bar instead for a snack. Make sure you're getting the shake in. Cause that's where the science, not that the shakes, not that the bars aren't amazing, but they don't contribute to the pH that the shakes do. Okay. Um, yeah, and Christine says the Isolife app is great to download for macro counting. So, and that was in the welcome email. If you guys download, yeah, if you, I'm getting some head nods, you download the Isolife app, you can choose the program to really track your progress. Um, so then you also have um, the fasting, right? So the intermittent fasting, um, you can do once a week for four weeks. Um, that tends to be kind of a favorable first 30 days for a lot of people who've never fasted before. Um, it's going to drive great results and that's paired with the cleanse for life. And your, um, your, you can, again, track your regimen in your app to tell you what to take every day. It seems overwhelming at first, but once you really get the hang of it after a couple weeks, it's, I love fasting because I don't have to meal plan that day <laughs> or eat for that matter. Um, and I feel amazing. Right. And I see this look from Randy, like, really, you feel amazing not eating, <laughs> but it's true. You'll see the key is, you know, with fasting, with our intermittent fasting program, you consume about 600 calories on a fasting day. Um, and so it's important that you actually follow the program because um, even those little wafers that are prescribed to you to like have during um, a cleanse day, there's the perfect proportion of fats to carbs to proteins in those tiny little wafers to help keep your blood sugars normalized. They may not taste like anything. They may not feel like they're doing anything for you, but I guarantee you they're going to really help smooth out your fasting day if you follow the regimen. Okay. E-shots are approved on fasting days. You can have those. What didn't come in your box that I love on fasting days, if you want to, you know, if you ever, if you want to go in before your first fast, you can access your, um, your back office now are the, the, the vitamin drinks, Bia, and our bone broth. Um, I like alternate Bia and bone broth on fasting days. Like mid morning, I have bone broth. Um, around lunchtime, I'll have a Bia. And this is around the cleanse, the cleanse for life and the other products. Um, but they're all cleanse approved um, and help kind of keep you going and nourished. 
Um, you can fast. Now, if you want ridiculously dramatic results, okay, and this is if you've got a client or you included, if you've got a deadline in 30 days that you've got to put on a bikini or put on your bathing suit and you're wanting to just look your absolute best and you're willing to like, you know, totally commit, you're going to get the most ridiculous results if you, if you pair your fasting for 48 hours. You do it two days in a row, okay? So like within that first week, after at least, I say at least five days of shakes because those five days of shakes help get your body alkaline and they're going to help reduce your stomach, right? So if you've been kind of overeating in proportions for meals for the past, you know, six to 10 months or whatever, and then all of a sudden you meal, you calorie restrict and are drinking shakes for just two days and then go straight to not eating, your stomach, like it can actually, you're, you're, it, it may gurgle and not be as happy with you as if you transition over four to five days of replacing one to two meals a day with shakes, your stomach will literally shrink so that by the time you get to a cleanse, um, it's not as difficult. Um, uh, Christine says day two is way easier than day one. It's so true. I find that at the end of the first day is when I'm most ravenous. Um, and I'll even just have like a little handful of almonds. I fasted two days ago. Um, I typically do a day and a half fast. Um, but once you get over the hump in the afternoon, go to bed early, you know, drink lots of water. Um, you wake up the next morning and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not even hungry. Right. And I feel good. And I haven't eaten in 24 hours. Um, so, but the way you can maximize your result results and the way the program is written is really you, uh, I say go at least five days. The book says go two, but I say go five for a number of reasons, alkalinity, contr contribution to alkalinity before detoxing and shrinking the stomach, right? Um, but if you go two full days, you really attack those um, heavy metals that are in the fat tissue. The first day, 24 hour fast, you're, reduce, you're getting rid of a lot of water soluble toxins, but day two, you're burning some of that adipose tissue in the, um, the visceral organs that really begin to release those heavy metals. And you do get dramatic results, like dramatic. There's no denying if you take a picture of yourself on day one and at the end of a 48 hour fast, like even if you're one of those people who hadn't seen your abs in you know, five years, like literally if you're 24 hour, I mean a 48 hour fast, it's like, bam, there they are, right? Um, so you can do that two day fast in the first, first week and then follow that by a two day fast in the second week. You want five shake days beforehand the first week, five shake days beforehand the second week. That's gonna make you smoking hot and amazing in your bathing suit. However, however, it's, it's difficult. Like I will be the first to say when I first started my journey, my first um, fast, I went a day and a half. I made the mistake of my day two being a day where I was sitting in front of the computer all day and all I thought about was cheeseburgers in the refrigerator, right? Um, and I caved. If you fast, well, Jim's laughing, but it's true. If you fast on busy days, like if you're in the pharmacy dispensing or you're out in the field seeing customers, like I find that when my calendar is booked, even if I'm in my office, but I'm talking a lot, like on calls all day long, I'm much more successful at fasting than I am if it's just like a quiet day where I'm just trying to get things done by myself. Um, so your commitment to your first 30 days um, is your first testimony for your business. It really is. So like your level of commitment to the program, um, you know, I tell people, especially people who are interested in the business, look, like you're going to be a walking billboard for this in the next 30 days. You can either stick to the program and have the end results to be able to talk about it. Um, but if you're not, you know, if you're not fully committed to the program, it's going to be harder to speak to the results. Right. So, um, so take that with, with a grain of salt, what you like. Um, but, and then, you know, and just so you guys know, if you've got clients, customers, friends who have diabetes, um, you know, type one or type two, we have ways to coach them through fasting so that they still can get really great results. Um, we've had tremendous success and, um, uh, programs for them as well. Um, okay. So that's the first 30 days. I'm not going to dive into any further details on that other than you've got the app to kind of um, work through that. I want you to know what resources you have from a product standpoint as far as community goes. We've got two Facebook pages. Um, so that you're not overwhelmed, I want to just kind of explain them to you, especially if you're not a media person. It can be a lot. The Ramp Effect, or actually they renamed it. What do they rename it, Mary? It's called something else now. Yeah, because the link is... The link is... It's, it's simplified wellness. Okay. Yeah, Randy, that, cause my welcome email still calls it the ramp effect. Don't, don't I? Doesn't it? Um, Something like that. The link is just, when I got to it and clicked on the link in Facebook, it, 
it didn't give me anything. Hmm. And I actually, I emailed, um, I never know how to say her name, Blake? Blake? Lady. Mm -hmm. Lady. Yes. Yeah. And I think she has to like turn it on or something somehow, that one link, because after I emailed her, then she invited in the link work. So. That's right. Okay. I'm going to take notes on that. That's a really good point, Randy. Um, I think that because we have such a successful team with such incredible tools and resources, um, we were getting kind of um, other, other teams were like tapping into our resources. So we had to make it difficult to get in. So um, Randy, I'll make sure you get in. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that link. Um, but there's over 11,000 product users in our, in our, organization our team that are in there this is strictly product this is nothing to do with business what you're going to find in there are success stories recipes you know hacks for regimens on how to be successful it's a place to go for support and community celebrate your first fasting you know cleanse day all that stuff total community large large group now as you're going through your journey this month if you're out in the field seeing people and they see you with one of these and they're like, what are you doing, right? Um, a really great passive way to kind of introduce them to the community is, you know, you can share with them what you're doing, why you're doing it. You're looking forward to kind of shedding that quarantine 15. Would you like for, if you're, if you're curious, there is a private Facebook community. Um, if you wanna like dip your toe in and just take a look around, I'm happy to add you to it, right? Like, so that's a really easy way to, but you have to let them know you're inviting them. So Randy, once you're in, um, you can, you have to be Facebook friends with those people though, and you can send an invite to them and just let them know, hey, I know you, you asked about this program I'm on, um, you know, check out, come, you know, feel free to go check out this, um, this um, Facebook community and see some of the success stories and just the raving. I mean, when you have 11,000 people raving about their results and are just jacked up on love and isogenics, it's just a, it's um, passive, attraction marketing for you because you're going about your day and you don't know when your friend is sitting watching Netflix on a Saturday with a bag of potato chips and it jumps up in their feed somebody's success story and all of a sudden they decide to reach out to you and you're like oh my god how did that happen it's called social media right <laughs> um so that's number one number two we have another smaller Facebook page that our smaller team runs 30-day challenges in um, the name of it is called healthy change um, and so every, you'll find that every 30 days we, we ignite a whole new challenge, which gives new people like you guys the opportunity to say to your network, Hey, I know you inquired about these products I'm on, you know, our community is about to host another 30 day challenge. It starts X date. Are you interested? That just creates urgency for people to just sign up now because it's about to start versus them kind of floundering for a month or two. You're just giving them a deadline. And so every month, we're, we start a new challenge. So I know Jennifer Bartram, who um, she leads, she's a physical therapist on our team. She leads the 30 day challenges. Fun fact about Jennifer is her husband is a coach for the Eagles, just, just so you know. Um, but um, so um, she'll be hosting another October challenge. Um, but again, that's a smaller community. Um, Jim, I would love to actually leverage your wife's success story, like in the next month, maybe we could have her we could interview her in there. That's social proofing, right? So we use our own um, uh, product users and success stories and interview them in there, right? Because you guys, it's another page where if your friend says, yeah, I'm interested in a 30-day challenge, but uh, they're not ready to invest yet or whatever, they, they, you can invite them into that community to take a look. And you could, Jim could even say to some of his network who's been asking about it, hey, you guys should jump into this Facebook page. Um, I'm going to send you an invite um, in a couple days. You know, my wife's going to be highlighted in there as a success story and you can pop in and ask her questions or catch the replay, right? So this is all about leveraging the resources that are out there for us, right? So, um, so that's kind of a little bit of drinking water from a fire hose from a product standpoint, but I wanted you guys to know um, the what and the why there. The third thing we're working through just from an opportunity standpoint for you and me and all of us who are recruiting for the business is that twice a month we're going to be offering live overviews where people who are interested can dial in through Zoom um, and listen to a product overview and learn and ask questions. Um, and there'll be more details on that to come. Um, so before I dive into some of the um, kind of like business orientation, I wanted to pause and see what questions you guys had about your product journey, product resources, and all that stuff. 
I don't know. I, I don't, I don't necessarily have any specific questions. I think that the, I did look, I did download the app. I did watch your video. So I think it's probably just rewatching your video and taking a few notes with some of your suggestions about that and comparing it to the app with, Hey, day one, this is what you do day two. And then when you get to a fasting day, this is what you do. Yep. So I'm totally on board with doing five days and then hitting, mm -hmm. hitting a fast. I'll probably just do one fast day a week mm -hmm. for the first 30 days to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of my initial plan. Mm -hmm. And then, and then once I get past that 30 days, if I haven't, uh, if I've gotten the results that, that I want, you know, then I'll just keep going with, um, you know, and then maybe try two fasting days and, and yep. we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Absolutely. And you may find on week two or week three that you wake up and you feel amazing. And sometimes I'll do this where I'm like, Oh, I feel, you know, and you, you hit the day running and you're like, I could fast for another three or four hours and I'll just break my fast at lunchtime. Um, I'm obsessed with working out. And so I'm kind of finicky about when I fast because, um, this is some feedback I'll give you guys is like, I wouldn't go do a camp gladiator. Like, let's say you fast for 24 hours, Randy, and you wake up at 4.30, 5 a.m. the next morning from not eating for 24 hours. I personally do not recommend going straight to a workout because yeah. you'll, you'll gas out. Um, yeah. And so that's one of the reasons I strategically will fast for a day and a half so that I can fuel myself the second half of that second day so that when I wake up at 5 a.m. the next morning, I'm fueled, but I've also detoxed. And I tend to hit some PRs because... I'm detoxed, but I'm energized. I'm not depleted, right? So just be mm -hmm. careful with that. I've had some clients come through and they, they try to like my OBGYN tried to go straight to Orange Theory in the middle of a fasting day. And I'm like, Dr. Danner, can't do that, man. <laughs> like not to begin with, I still don't do fasted cardio. I do fasted yoga or a fasted walk, but I don't do fasted hit or, you know, running right. and all that stuff. Yeah. And I was, that, that was actually a question. So I pr appreciate that you covered it. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you'll figure out what works for you. I definitely plan my fasting days around my workouts, you know, and there's weeks where I skip a fast cause I really want to work out. And there's weeks where I skip a workout cause I really want to fast, you know, and it's just kind of planning around it. And, and that's how my wife did it too. Like on her fast day, mm -hmm. she made sure that it wasn't a day where she was teaching an intense class or doing something intense. And that's kind of how she would schedule her week. Okay. This is the day I can fast this week and I'll and do that accordingly. Cause yeah, you don't want to work out and you know, risk driving your blood sugar too low on a fast. It, right. You're not going to feel too good. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And, and each person is so unique cause I'm hearing from Mary. I know Mary's a big swimmer. And Mary said she does fasted cardio and Christine's done a lot of bodybuilding um, and marathon running. And that's one thing on, that her fasting days are her rest days to like rebuild. Re oh yeah. And Mary says she's swims on fasting. Days. Mm -hmm. So you just play with it. I just try to set you up for success by not like um, encouraging to work out on your first fasting day, you know, as you kind of, as you work through your journey and this becomes a lifestyle, you'll figure out what works for you. Yeah. Right. So you awesome. get what, like five years of experience now doing this? <laughs> I've been fasting at least once a week, most of the last five and a half years, except for my pregnancy. Um, yeah. And nursing. So uh, I just feel amazing afterwards. I mean, to this day in my skin, like energetically, you know, and especially with, I think, you know, the quarantine 15 is a real thing for a lot of people. I think that, you know, the gyms are closed, um, alcohol consumption's up, junk eating is up. And so I'm fasting every week just to combat the, the wine on the weekends and the pizza with my kids too, you know? <laughs> so, um, okay. <clears throat> the last thing I wanted to hit on, and then I just want to spend a couple minutes on business and then we can wrap up because I know it's 1030. Um, you're, you are all scheduled for a replenishment order next month. Now, I typically set you guys for two reasons. Number one, that gives you the best wholesale pricing the day you order, Okay. Um, number two, that, that keeps the guesswork out of like you getting to the end of your box and then all of a sudden there's nothing at your house. However, you can edit it, change it, cancel it. You're not bound to it by any way. Um, I typically set everyone up with our most popular maintenance pack for your reorder. So what I would love to do with each of you is to revisit about three weeks into your journey 
and just kind of see what's working for you and where you want to go. So for some folks, they're like, I am good. I've hit my, my goal and I just want to maintain. And so that maintenance packs like maybe like 160, 170 bucks a month. It's like a shake a day, Ionics daily and a fast once a month. Um, if you're getting crazy results and you want to keep going and lose another 15, we need to change your cart and probably put a, um, like a basic 30 day. We don't, you don't need another beefed up comprehensive pack. If you've got a value pack, you really probably just need like the bare bones, like, um, basic 30 day and even maybe just throw in something else that you're loving, you know? So we'll talk about that as you get close to your, but just make sure you mark your calendar, um, like uh, three weeks from the day you order so that you we're sure that we we have that conversation. Okay. So that's it on the product piece. Um, also I should say that re the, the reorder piece it also, if you're vested in the business, that is like the only requirement to do business with isogenics is that you are a, what we call a committed consumer. So, you know, while Jim's been on his journey for a month or two, I can't wait to get on the call with you later this to this afternoon, Jim, and show you how many people are already in your downline, how much volume you already have in your business. And he's just starting to grow his business, right? And the reason he's generating the volume in the business is because he's committed as a consumer. It's the only requirement to participate in the profit share of the company is that reorder of a minimum of 100 BB. So, you know, if there's ever a month where you're like, I've, I've got plenty of shakes, well, we have an entire health and wellness store. So, you know, we're constantly ordering the digestive enzymes and the probiotics in our house and our immune right now, it's, it's desiccated dry mushrooms. You'll learn a lot about some of the science as you go along, but there's so many things I can redirect my spending on into my own business and not get it from Whole Foods um, that there's, still, there's never a month that there's not a way for me to reinvest that hundred business volume, right? Okay, so um, a couple of tidbits on the business because I this was really a product welcome call, but just to tee off um, kind of orientation from a business standpoint, if you're ready to plug in, you can learn while you're consuming. You can learn while you're on your journey. So I want you to know what resources you have. We have daily calls at 8 a.m. Um, that um, the information was in your welcome email. There's also a link where you can listen to the recording because I know it's 5 a.m. for my West Coasters. I know Jim has a particular time of day. He listens to the recordings. I know Jim's really focused right now on our Fridays, which are comp calls. So he's learning. He's had a great, he's had great results. His wife's had great results. So now he's like, okay, how do I make money? <laughs> right? um, so okay. that's where he's totally fine. But this is where, you know, I'm always talking about the power of leverage. Leverage meaning you leverage your teammates, you leverage the resources. So I might be on a coaching call with someone else or doing something with my kids, but that doesn't mean you can't dial in or listen to a recording and start learning the business today, right? Um, we have eight, six, we have eight, six, and seven figure income earners on our team, and we all own those global exec team calls. So once every round of like eight, I run the calls for an entire week. And Mondays are always like kick off the week calls, just get you all revved up. Tuesdays are always product. So if you just want to hone in, if you want to hone in on the product for the first 30 days. You can go back and grab the replays and listen to every product call you want. Wednesdays are connecting. So starting to learn the art of connecting with your network and sharing. Thursdays are um, rising leaders. So actually, um, oddly enough, I was on the Thursday call today as one of our millionaires. Um, it's her week to lead, but she decided to um, interview a couple of us who are qualifying for Fiji right now as rising leaders. Um, and then Fridays is compensation. So I love the Thursday calls because typically you don't hear from leaders like me. Typically you hear from newer people who are in the trenches, um, like doing what you're doing. And so it's, uh, it's really inspiring to hear stories of people who've recently started and the traction that they're getting. And then Fridays is all compensation. It's all money, understanding our comp plan. Um, so you can dial in or you can listen to the recordings. My advice to you, if you're serious about the business, is treat this like the six-figure income opportunity is by creating some type of routine to commit to learn, whether it's listening to live or saying, you know, for 30 minutes a day at this particular time during commute or whatever, I'm gonna be infusing my brain with learning about how this process works. Now, having said that, there's eight leaders. We have very different styles that we lead and we have very different businesses. You're gonna find that you're gonna dial into some and you're gonna be like, this is a waste of my time and you hang up the phone, right? Or you move on to the next call because it just doesn't resonate with you. 
that is okay. There are 350 millionaires in isogenics. And we constantly say there's 350 ways to make a million dollars with the company. Even though maybe the stay at home mom who's all over the place presents and it doesn't resonate with you, she's making a million dollars a year. Her story and her coaching might resonate with someone within your business that you ultimately introduce to the products, right? So um, I've kind of learned who I love even as a leader to dial in and listen to selectively. Um, but you always want to, I, I want you guys to get a flavor of all of them because um, you've got corporate dropouts, you've got um, stay at home moms, you've got teachers, you've got fitness professionals, you have, oh, just the whole mix. Um, so you, you're going to learn from everybody. All right. So that's that. Um, I personally host coaching calls once a week at noon on Tuesdays. Um, right now I'm making it, um, for the most part, I'm trying to create it as an open forum as like a live opportunity for people to come to me and get live questions answered. Right. Um, so, um, it's at noon on Tuesdays, again, open forum. It's really kind of like hot seat coaching. I show up, you come in, you're doing your learning in tandem and you're coming in and asking the questions. You're coming in, presenting the scenarios and you know that, you know, that every Tuesday at noon, I can bring my questions to Melissa and she'll address them, right? Um, so those are your kind of live ways to learn. Obviously, um, for Randy and Lynn, I just personally enrolled you guys, so I'm gonna be staying close to you beyond just like what you listen to. One of my follow-ups from this call will be that we schedule time next week as kind of follow-up. Um, just like I'm gonna have a call with Randy, I mean, um, Jim later this afternoon. Um, last thing I want to underscore here as far as resources go as we wrap up and, you know, and I'll open up for questions is that we have, and I mentioned this on Tuesday and Randy and Lynn, you guys were both on the call, which is great. You guys just jumped right in. We have business overviews to present the opportunity with a testimonial every single week, every single week. Um, and so this and on my I, I forgot to mention my own private my own team facebook page is called team live the free life um lady posts in there every week who the guest speaker is in the zoom link the zoom link never changes the time never changes but the guest does and um we also blast an email to all of you in your inbox each week to remind you who's speaking as a prompt because a you can dial in and listen and learn and be inspired by your, for yourself, learn the language, learn what they're presenting. Um, but B, it's an opportunity for you to begin sifting for interest and inviting people to take a look before you even fully understand it yourself. So one of the angles I took when I got started, when my upline was doing these overviews was I started working through my network that I would love to run a business with that I thought would be phenomenal with this and just reached out to them and said, Hey, you know, I've come across something that I'm really excited about. I'd love your thoughts. I'd love your opinion. Are you open to taking a look, right? And I can talk with you guys personally on how you wordsmith that and how you generate interest. Um, but at the end of the day, so Martin Conway is presenting on Wednesday. He's um, Irish uh, and he came here uh, from college. He played pro soccer in the UK, I believe. Um, and then worked for GlaxoSmithKline for, gosh, almost 20 years. Pharmaceutical um, director, leadership. He and I worked together for a long time. Um, he just quit corporate. He just left corporate um, two or three weeks ago. Um, very well-versed, very poised, very engaging speaker. So I would challenge you to start thinking right now, how can I leverage this guy who's speaking live next week to invite my network to take a look? People that you think uh, would relate to his story, you know, um, middle-aged men with children, maybe in corporate, right? Might be a great place to start with drilling down and asking people if they want to take a look. Because there's something about the social proofing. And it's not that you're selling at this point. You're just sifting for interest and saying, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm curious what you think about what I'm getting into, right? I want you to check out this guy's story and tell me what you think. Um, so again, those are every week. Um, our product overviews are going to be um, every other week when we get to it. That's it for, for now. So my, my call to action, two calls to action for you guys, and I'll open up for questions. Number one, like I said in the beginning, your success and your commitment to the program in the first 30 days, right, is going to be your number one marketing tool when you walk away from these first 30 days. 
Um, so, you know, when the days with it, you're not feeling like it or the days that you, uh, you know, you're, uh, and it's okay. Like, let me, let me take a step back. I had wine and pizza in my first 30 days, but it was in balance. You know, I didn't do it every day. You know, I had pizza on the weekend. I might've had wine at a party. Um, don't have, you know, a bottle of wine and then cleanse the next day. You'll have a horrible headache. I'm just saying. Um, but you know, just stay committed as committed as you, as you is reasonable. Um, so that you have that output, that story to talk about. Um, and then secondly, for those of you that are really ready to, to jumpstart or brainstorm, I would challenge even just a brainstorm. Think about the first 10 people that come to mind in your network that literally, if you could retire them, they'd be amazing to, to run with. Like Dr. Christine and I, even though she's on the West coast, I love nothing more than to build a business with her, right? Like I loved flying out to California last year and like staying at her house with her kids and helping her launch her business because um, I love running with dreamers and there's nothing more exciting than setting your friends free, setting other, um, other folks free so that you can run and scale a business together. So just start asking yourself, who's good with people? Who's entrepreneurial? Who's open-minded? Um, who's really passionate about fitness, who's passionate about health, um, and put, literally put pen to paper and start brainstorming that. And, and if you're, if you're up for the challenge, invite them to come listen to Martin next week. If you're not quite there yet, that's fine. Save that paper. And every time you think of somebody, just keep putting them on the paper. So at the end of these 30 days, when you feel like you've swallowed a rainbow, you can reach out to them. Okay. I'm going to pause there. What questions do you guys have? This is a very, very basic one. Um, do we set something up then with you or is it pretty straightforward to go through the box? I know we talked about that a little bit the other day. So to go through your, your isogenics box? Yes. So let's do this, Lynn. Watch the video, because mm -hmm. I, get, I get down into the details on the video. And then let's schedule a follow-up one-on-one call to address your questions to really customize it for you. Yeah. Is that cool? Yes, thank you. Okay, awesome. Because I know it can be overwhelming. You, did you get the value pack? There's like a lot in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's two thirds of your groceries for the month. <laughs> what other questions do you guys have? Any other questions? Not really. I think it's just a matter of going through all the emails, pulling everything together. And it sounds like there are tons of resources to leverage now. It's just a matter of you know, managing all of those resources. So. Right. Well, and that's the thing, the resources can become overwhelming, right? So if I, if there were just a couple of walk away, um, guidance steps today that I would tell you from a product standpoint, get those two shakes a day in your body, right? Get those two shakes a day in your body. And, um, I actually pour the ionics powder. Um, I pour it into my shake every morning. I don't have with three kids running a couple businesses. I don't have time to like sip on my coffee, sip on my ionics and do my shake. Like I literally just like it all, even my, my caffeine is in here too. I've got my cacao nibs in here. So like do what works for you. Right. Um, but, um, you know, get those two. So get those two shakes a day in your body at a minimum. Um, you know, don't get overwhelmed with the process. So get those two shakes a day in your body and plug into some of the training. Like just commit to a regimen, commit the 30 minutes a day. If you're fascinated about the products and that's where you want to start with your confidence, commit 30 minutes a day to listening to all the archived product calls, um, you know, or commit to dialing in on those, those, uh, those Tuesday calls. Um, and that's where I, so that, that would be my two pieces of advice. Number one, two shakes a day in your body. Number two, commit to learning. Um, and then what I would love to do is have a follow-up call with you guys next week. I'll work with Blady, um, and we can kind of talk about next steps after you guys have kind of gone through, a, you know, a week's journey on the products. And obviously you guys have my contact information. You can message me directly with any questions that you have along the way. And don't forget to leverage the Facebook community, right? So if you're messaging me and you're getting, you know, crickets because I'm knee deep in a coaching call or with my kids or whatever, the best place to go is to post your question in the ramp effect, or I'm sorry, simplified wellness, post your question in simplified wellness or post your question in healthy change. And I have a, a team of leaders that'll just pummel it and like probably give you 12 answers and way more time than you could get a direct answer from me and, and probably better answers, <laughs> but you'll get a, you'll get a um, perspective, right? 
The, the one question I had is, uh, so I'm looking at the app, um, dig into, into it a little bit more, and there's, you know, three available programs, weight loss, daily wellness, and ice body challenge. Mm -hmm. So weight loss and ice body challenge were the two things that you have been talking about. Can you yep. do both at the same time? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up, Randy. I need to add this to my checklist. Um, all of you should be right, signing up for the Ice Body Challenge. It's completely a free program where um, once you complete the challenge, Christine has won. Well, she's been a, um, well, you were in the top 15. I can't remember exactly what your title was, Christine, but she was Ice Body finalist. Um, you, um, you, it, it really holds you accountable. It doesn't cost you anything. You enter in your measurements, your goals, and then at the end of the challenge, you, um, you check in in the middle at the end of the challenge, you write a little um, testimonial of, you know, your journey, which, you know, the company wants those results, right? Um, and then once a year, I don't know, Christine, you might be on a multitasking right now, but maybe you could unmute yourself. She, um, she ended up on stage winning, like they, they have, um, Right. Yeah, can you talk about ice bike challenge for a minute? Absolutely. Yeah, I can. Sorry, I'm like in the I'm middle like of getting the bike. kids out of bed, <laughs> getting the kids out of bed for their homeschooling. Um, yes, ice bike challenge, and you actually must do it at the same time as you start because it just goes in so beautifully. Uh, two things: to be part of ice bike challenge, all you need to do is to be active for 16 weeks, and your initial purchase goes towards your I said about a challenge because you have to be active to purchase products, right? You have to be using our products. So that's one of the things I always tell people register within like five to six days, the latest, if you really want to wait for your box to arrive, then register. It doesn't really matter, but register as soon as you can. So your initial purchase points can go towards your I said about a challenge. Mm. And now everything is so much easier. You guys, unless you want to win the challenge, which was my goal. And yes, um, Melissa in 2018, we had about 46,600 people who were in Ice Body Challenge, and I was one out of the 15 that we were recognized. Each year, they recognize 15 finalists. And um, if you guys want, like my story is actually on the front page of isogenics.com. You'll scroll down, it's like right there. <laughs> I'm in those little brochure thingies that you all will um, receive in your welcome pack kit. But again, like you never know what's possible unless you actually go through the journey. So some people just want the $200, and that's perfectly cool. You don't even have to write an essay anymore. You literally just take your before and after pictures. You maintain your uh, points, making sure you have enough um, purchases during your time frame, and you submit your after pictures. You get your two hundred dollars in your mailbox right away. That's what my husband and I would do every sixteen weeks now. I mean, at this point, I'm not going to win it again. So all I want is just the two hundred dollars. So it's really simple. Um, she's just really simple for you. Oh, you just, I was like, wait a minute, hold on. There she <laughs> what is. What am I doing? <laughs> um, so it's really simple money. Like, you know, in our household, we get $1,600. Um, I mean, well, how much? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, $1,200, like every, um, like a couple of weeks. So it's like, why not? You know? Um, but yeah, it's, it's there. It's easy. You don't even have to write anything anymore. You just have to like register, sign up and you just kind of like go from there and have fun. You'll have an amazing community. Um, of people, especially if you're going to leverage this as your little, this is your catalog. It's an online catalog. So my story may not resonate with, let's say, Jim's story, right? With completely different goals. But guess what? I know somebody from our team or from our isobody team, like that their story will resonate and I'll hook them up. Like, and that's what you want to have, like access to all these people with their stories because it is so valuable. Like, we don't sell isogenics, we are storytellers because that story is gonna stick to your mind and you're actually gonna like remember like, oh yeah, so-and-so had this experience. So anyways, if there's any questions, feel free to shout out. But, Absolutely. Um, well, and that's fun. another thing is, thank you, Christine. Um, Christine's an absolute badass. Um, the, the, if you listen to the product calls on Tuesdays, you're gonna hear all kinds of stories and different conditions and people's success. Number one, it validates, it's going to create confidence for you to share to other people, but it's also going to, you're going to be archiving in your mind, like, gosh, this is relevant for someone with hypertension or diabetes or dyslipidemia, or I did hear this story about someone with fibromyalgia, and it's not that we can treat, cure, or heal, but you can share with people, gosh, there's someone that's using the nutrition I've used that's had great success nourishing their body um, and feeling, you know, tremendously better, you know, uh, would you be interested in learning more, right? Um, awesome. Well, we are past the 1045 mark. I'm going to wrap up with that guys. Um, I'll have Blady reach back out 
um, Randy and Lynn, I'd love to schedule a follow-up call like end of next week um, just to see where you guys are. Between now and then, you can text me, message me, whatever you need from me. Um, hope to see you on the back. There's a comp call tomorrow at 8 o'clock if you guys want to dial in. Um, Jessica Johnson will be running the comp call tomorrow. She's a, um, Jessica is one of our top leaders. She an, was an investment banker who also owned and ran a couple of gyms with three little kids, one in diapers when she was introduced to this. And now she makes a million dollars a year and she has sold her businesses and she works her business in her yoga pants and a top knot. <laughs> right? So, so take a listen to her. Jessica does a beautiful um, way of simplifying things. She makes it sound so simple, right? All right, guys, have a wonderful afternoon. Welcome to the family. Thanks a lot, Melissa. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right.